Hi everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So in one of my previous videos, I got a lot of comments with people asking what would happen to an egg inside of a vacuum chamber. And so, I'm going to find out. Let's put the egg in here. Close the door. Let's adjust the camera a little bit. There we go. And now let's plug in the vacuum pump. So the egg has been inside the chamber for seven minutes. The uh, atmospheric pressure seems to be stabilized at just below the triple point of water, which tells me that the egg is producing some sort of vapor, water vapor, which is help pressurizing the chamber and keeping the pressure high. But uh, other than that, it doesn't appear to have done anything. So let's uh, put the pressure back into the chamber suddenly and see what that does. Okay, you can see the mercury rising as the pressure is increasing. I don't want to increase it uh, too quickly right here because it'll break my gauge. Okay, now that it's up, I can release the gas more quickly. Okay. And the egg is still intact. There's no cracks or no ruptures or anything like that. So that tells me that the egg, the shell at least, is able to withstand any sort of internal pressure that the egg is generating. Interesting. Let's see what happens if we remove the shell. And there we go. I've removed the shell, but I've left the internal membrane intact. The idea here is that the calcium carbonate shell is rather tough. Now that that's removed, what will the egg do? Let's turn the vacuum back on and let's find out. Whoa, something's happening to the egg. Did it just freeze? Did the camera even catch that? Oh yeah, look. The, uh, the front of the window is starting to fog up. So what must have happened is there must be a... The water is basically boiling inside the egg. And so it lifted the membrane up a little bit. Has also increased the vaporization of the water. Seems the vacuum pump is now handling the influx of gas. Or it was very brief. That's interesting. Let's let this go for a little while longer. Then I'll open it up and see what it's done. It almost looks like it's got the shell back. This egg is putting out a surprisingly large amount of water vapor. The uh, pressure inside the chamber, even though this has been running for nearly 10 minutes, is still maintaining it above 5 torr. So the egg must be putting out a lot of gas, water vapor. And I can actually see the water condensing over here inside the vacuum tube. You see that? All the water condensing. It's probably not good for my pump. Well, let's let the air back in and see what it does. Okay. Let's uh, open this up. See what we got. Okay. It's noticeably cold. Still liquid though. It didn't freeze. At least not all the way. Let's uh, refocus this camera. The uh, membrane certainly has become more opaque. Not sure why it would do that. Well, there definitely is some crystals inside of there. 
So I think it did freeze partially. Let's see what happens if I warm it up. Yeah, see how it's uh, becoming uh, a little bit transparent again now that I'm warming it up? It's because there was ice inside of it. Let's try this again, but let's actually get rid of the membrane too. So there's the egg without a shell. Let's uh, vacuum this down. Now we'll be able to see what's going on here. Look how big that bubble's getting. As the pressure drops, the gas expands. <laughs> see how big it gets before it finally pops. Oh no, that's cool. It's like freezing. No, it is freezing. Let's zoom this out a little bit. Just to see what's happening. Well, sort of. The glass is fogging up. So yeah, the uh, water inside the egg whites boiled and it formed gas bubbles and eventually it lost enough heat through the boiling that the remaining water froze and it's uh, locked it into this rigid foam structure. If I left it going long enough and if there was a heat source inside the chamber, this should eventually freeze dry. But I'm not going to let it do that. Rather, I'm going to let the pressure back in and see what happens. Huh. The foam remained rigid. Even though I've let the air back in, the foam has remained fluffy. Isn't that interesting? Let's get a thermometer and see what temperature that is. So as you can see, it's 20 degrees Fahrenheit. I convert that to Celsius. It's negative six degrees Celsius. So it's definitely a lot colder than just freezing. Should make sense because I let it run for quite a while. Looks like the uh, yolk has begun to freeze. Still a little bit liquid in the center. Yeah. The uh, gas bubbles didn't pop when I put the pressure back in. Huh. I've made meringue. <laughs> it's crazy. All right. So it seems like that the shell of the egg and even the membrane of the egg with a little bit of stretching can support the internal pressure that the egg is under, which is, from what I've seen, about the uh, vapor pressure of water. So it's only about five millimeters of mercury worth, so it's not a lot of pressure, and it's obviously not enough to rupture it. But it is enough to puff up the egg whites into this uh, fluffy material there. Well, that was cool. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you next time. So just a quick update on some of my other projects I'm working on. You can see this here is my methane generator. It's coming together well. It's almost done. I just got to finish the heater, which you can see right there, and uh, put stuff in it and start it uh, composting. And uh, that part there could take months, so uh, you guys will see this eventually. Also, I've been uh, doing some tests with different types of stainless steel. Here's some stainless steel wool, some stainless steel wire, 
the stainless steel wool doesn't seem to handle the uh, electrolysis. The wire, with a little discoloration, it's able to handle it. So I'll definitely be sticking to the wire. It's unfortunate because the steel wool has a lot more surface area, but it has to be able to support long-term electrolyzing, otherwise it's no good to me. So, there you go.